You know, Norman Osborn is something of a scientist himself, but when exposed to Goblin formula, he turns into the notorious Green Goblin. And just how has this green meanie evolved over the years? Let's go through his appearances in TV and film to find out. Animated. In his first on-screen appearance, the Goblin wears a pink cloth outfit, a purple belt with matching satchel and boots, and he dons a long hat tucked behind his enormous ears. Plus, in close-ups, he has bushy eyebrows and way too long lashes. This goblin is obsessed with witchcraft and, of course, rides his signature glider. In the 1981 TV series, Osborne physically transforms himself into the hideous goblin. He sports a darker outfit and has paler skin with added scales. Although, from time to time, it appears he's just wearing a goblin costume. But that doesn't matter, because when he's electrically shocked or caught in an explosion, he magically turns back into Norman Osborne. For the 1994 animated series, Norman dresses up in a bright pink outfit with a golden belt. Plus, his mask has yellow eyes and vampiric teeth. And he's, well, a lot more beefy. While this goblin falls into a portal to the unknown, his son Harry would later take up the mantle. In the Counter-Earth follow-up series, the mysterious Hector Jones wears a mechanical get-up with bird-like feet, a winged backpack, and large goggles. Even though he looks villainous, this goblin is apparently good and even teams up with the webhead himself. Norman Osborn, in his first live-action appearance, wears an armored green flight suit with hints of purple undertones and an oblong mask with retractable yellow lenses. He manages to take out his former business associates, but when faced against Spider-Man, he's defeated by his own glider. Although, in Spider-Man 3, his son Harry vows to avenge his father. He wears a tactical black suit with green accents, a ski goggle mask, and later on is scarred by his own pumpkin bomb. This goblin rides a hoverboard and eventually teams up with Spider-Man, sacrificing himself to save his web-headed friend. In this spectacular Spider-Man, Osborn wears a purple ensemble featuring a loincloth with a pumpkin-shaped belt and a mask designed with tiny ears and a flat hat. He mostly zaps lasers out of his fingers, and he has a gang of pumpkin-masked thugs. In Ultimate Spider-Man, Norman is injected with Spidey and Venom DNA, turning him into a gruesome goblin creature. He has a double-horned chin, pupilless yellow eyes, and wears an armored outfit. He also sports a caped iron suit, becomes a venomized goblin, as well as a spider goblin, and in a dream sequence, is seen in his king goblin form. This show also features a winged ultimate goblin and a female goblin, who also turns more grotesque. Marvel Disc Wars features a bulky goblin with spike shoulders, devil horns, and a fashionable stripe down his suit. In The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Harry Osborn takes an experimental serum to save his life, but instead it accelerates his made-up disease. He then utilizes an olive green flight suit to take on Spider-Man, ultimately becoming the cause of his girlfriend's death. And while he tries to form the Sinister Six, this series would instead be canceled. Future Avengers Norman wears a cutesy-looking goblin costume with a jester-like collar and extremely long socks. Oh, and he has super jumping abilities. Into the Spider-Verse features a 25-foot mutated goblin with wings, a tail, and a disturbingly long blue tongue. But he's mostly a goon of Kingpin, so let's keep going. In the 2017 Spider-Man cartoon, Norman Osborn merges with a Venom symbiote, becoming the Dark Goblin. He has animal-like feet, added spiky protrusions, and a long tail. Later, he injects himself with additional serum, transforming him into a more beastly creature. The preschool show, Spidey and His Amazing Friends, features an adorable goblin wearing armored safety pads. Though he looks innocent, he's still a troublesome goon to his spider foes. But but let's get back to the grown-up gobbies. In No Way Home, the 2002 Goblin is mistakenly transported into the MCU. His armor is slightly simplified and dirtier. His helmet features an angrier brow and more golden eyes. Although later on, he ditches it for goggles, gets a purple-accented battle-damaged look, and adds a satchel, tattered hoodie, and gauntlets to his suit. He continues his reign of terror in the MCU, but is eventually given an anti-goblin serum and sent back to his own universe. And that is the ghastly evolution of the Green Goblin. Comment down below which Gobby is your favorite and subscribe for more animations. Thank you for watching, commenting, and pressing like on the video. And shout out to the lovely patrons for all of their support. Thank you to everyone who voted for this to be the next evolution on the community page. And make sure to check out the other animations on the channel. Then just hit that little bell notification so you'll never miss another upload.